Hey there everybody, I thought I'll try something new today by adding voice over to this video. I believe it will be convenient for you and also for me. Moreover, I got few requests as well. Honestly, I'm not really comfortable doing this, but I thought I'll give it a try. For today's video, I thought it would be interesting to share with you what we eat in a day as a family of five. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, everything is going to be there in this video. So let's jump right into it. We all are having eggs for breakfast today. My husband had half fried egg and left for office. The kids are still asleep so I am going to have my breakfast peacefully. I'm making egg white omelette with toast for myself. So for that I, it's very simple. I'm just going to add in a bit of olive oil and then drop in the egg white. And then once it's cooked a bit, I'm going to add generous amount of freshly cracked black pepper and red chili flakes. And a bit of salt too. Flip it and let the other side cook as well. We've been obsessed with brioche bread lately, so I'm uh, toasting that in the leftover oil from the fried egg. For my drink, I'm making black coffee with honey. And that's my simple breakfast ready. I'm going to boil some eggs for the kids. I'm going to do that in the instant pot. In the instant pot, you get perfectly hard boiled eggs each and every time. And the shells just slips off the egg so easily without getting stuck into the egg. While the egg is getting boiled, I'm going to place all the wash dishes from previous night in its places. Searching YouTube. While listening to morning recitation. Another thing I do early in the morning every day is emptying the dishwasher before starting any major cooking. I'm boiling edamame for the kids breakfast. There is still an hour left for the little ones to wake up, so I'm starting with the lunch preparation. I'm making chicken mandi. This recipe is from my friend Shabana's page named Shabosphere. I'm sure you all know her. For this, you'll have to make a spice paste with cumin, whole peppercorns, ginger and garlic, and green chilies. And then in a pan, I'm adding ghee and a bit of oil and uh, I'll reserve a few, uh, two teaspoons or so of the spice paste and add the remaining to this oil and saute it for a minute. Add a bit of garam masala and uh, cook it for a minute or so. 
Then place the cleaned chicken on top of the masala and uh, fry on both sides. Just slight frying is enough. In a pot, add 4 cups of water. I'm adding 4 cups of water because I'll be cooking uh, 2 cups of rice. So for uh, 1 cup of rice, it's 2 cups of water. So here I'm adding 4 cups of water and I'm adding the chicken, the fried chicken into it. And pour the remaining oil. Add salt. Let the water come to a boil and uh, cover and cook it for about an hour. See how easily I can peel the skin off the egg. To cook the egg in the instant pot, you just have to pour a cup of water in the pot, the bottom of the pot, and place the eggs on the rack. Then you have to turn the valve to the sealing position and pressure cook it for 5 minutes. Let the pressure get released by itself and then just have to open the lid. And just place the eggs in cold water and peel it. My elder two kids doesn't like the yolk of the egg so I'm just giving them the egg white. With a sprinkle of black pepper. I thought I'll make cheese bread for the kids. So for that I'll just uh, toast the bread in a little bit of ghee. Again this is brioche bread. And then please mozzarella cheese on top. And then you just have to flip it. But I made a mistake of cooking this in my cast iron pan. So the cheese got stuck onto the pan. But if you do it this in a non stick pan it comes out really well. For snack, I made potato wedges for the kids because uh, I had a lot of potatoes which I had to use up as I'll be traveling soon to Dubai to be with my family. So I'm actually trying to empty whatever is there in the fridge and my pantry. So this was a hit among the kids. I pulled out my baggage from under the bed and um, the bag is filled with all Indian dresses from my last visit to India since I don't wear much of the Indian dresses in Kuwait so I just keep it in the bag but I think in Dubai I can use some of this. Aisha is very happy wearing her salwar kameez and I was also wasting a lot of my time trying out different dresses and modeling in front of the mirror. Finally, I finished packing the bag. It's almost lunch time, so I'm going to make the rice ready. To marinate the chicken into the reserved spice paste, I'm going to add chili powder, a bit of baharat spice, that is Arabic spice. You can add anything you want into it, any sort of spice, paprika or anything. And then squeeze a bit of lemon and add a bit of salt. And mix everything together, a bit of water too make it easy to mix and then I'll pour in olive oil mix it to make a nice marinade and I'll brush it onto the cooked chicken I'll brush it on all the sides and I'll air fry it for about half an hour Meanwhile, I'm going to cook the rice. So in a pot, I'm adding ghee and to that I'm adding cinnamon, cloves and cardamom. And then I'll add the soaked rice 
and just fry it for a minute. I'm using the short grain jeera gashala rice here, but you can add basmati rice. Actually, you should add basmati rice for this, uh, preferably sella rice, which is the really long grain rice. I added a cube of chicken stock and a bit of saffron. As a side for the rice, I'm going to make tomato chutney. This is not the traditional Arabic tacos. This is more like a South Indian chutney which we eat with dosa. As I'm going to make dosa for dinner at night, I thought I'll make extra. And I'll use it both for the mandi and also for the dosa at night. So for this, I have uh, grinded tomato, uh, onion and dried red chilies. And in a pan, I've heated coconut oil and spluttered mustard seeds added curry leaves and then poured the puree tomato paste into it and cooked on high heat for about 5 minutes and then low heat for about 10-15 minutes until the sauce became thick and the mandi rice is also ready it was smelling so good the aroma was simply amazing and the fried chicken is also ready I'll just plate it and this is how it looks After lunch, we had very sweet watermelon. And then I got into the kitchen to do a deep cleaning uh, of my cupboards and the fridge because uh, I always like to clean the entire house so that we can come back to a very clean house after our vacation. I bought this lid organizer from IKEA and it is so good. The best part of this is that you can adjust the size of the organizer based on the size of your lid or how many lids you want to place on it. The fridge is all empty and cleaned. It feels so good really. It was around 6 p.m. and the kids started to feel hungry again and uh, I found this uh, savory tart shells which I bought from Ikea in the freezer. Since I didn't have much uh, things with me, I just filled the tart shells with cream cheese. It would really taste good if you fill it with cream cheese and uh, cucumber and maybe sausages or corn or anything. But uh, the kids really enjoyed it with just the cream cheese too. My studio come office was a complete mess because I was taking back to back videos and uh, I was not cleaning much so cleaning was long overdue so I thought I'll just do that. It was an amazing feeling to get into a clean room the next day in the morning and that's my little assistant working on the computer. By the time it was dinner, I was dead tired and I just took out the instant dosa mix which was there in the fridge. I had to use that up too. So I made a very crisp ghee roast for the kids. My husband and me, we usually don't have dinner at night. So for the kids, it was a ghee roast with white chutney and also the leftover red chutney. So this is it in this video. This was a new one for me. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like, comment and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Thank you for watching.